truly to get past the scars, to get past anything tonight, you've got to have forgiveness. And she truly done what she needed to do, and that's pray for those that hurt her. I don't know who hurt her. I don't know all the circumstances. Don't even know her. I did follow her on Facebook after I saw that post because I kind of did tie in with what God told me earlier. But like I said, it could be for her. It could be for you. It could be for anybody. Now, I don't know who it's for. It could be more for more than one. If you see yourself in anything that God told me tonight, what you need to do is accept it. You know, uh, it talks about just accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. So there's some people tonight that's never even been saved, that's never knew God, but still they felt something. And they, they want to know more and more about God, and God's calling you out tonight for a purpose. But also it can speak to people that's maybe knew the Lord, but they've run from God. They've sat down on the cause of God. They've never obeyed God like they should. Man, woman, child, I don't care who you are. If God's calling you, you need to obey God. And I'm going to do that, read that to you one more time tonight. And I just want you to listen to it. God is speaking to me tonight, and there is someone seeing this post tonight that's never felt worthy enough to pray. I know there's people out there tonight because I've been there so many times the guilt and the shame that we face the scars that we face get so low that we don't think we can even lift up our heads to pray you know I wrote a song earlier tonight and I don't know it right now because I just done it as I was doing it but it talked about the scars of life and the pain that we face throughout each and everything but God saw us then and God sees us now and all we got to do is just stand still. And God will move in our situations. But sometimes we just get so low that we don't even feel like we could even lift up our head. You know, I remember a time whenever uh, I had uh, one of my first visions that I had uh, in the Lord. I remember just bowing down. And I didn't feel worthy enough to even look at his face. All I could look at was his feet. And I remember that. And you know, sometimes that's how we feel. There was other times in my life that, you know, uh, I went through some storms in this life. I went through a lot of things to get me to where I am today. I'm a stronger person because of everything I've been through. But it was a long journey. But I remember there was times that, you know, the man who has such great faith that can move mountains and can raise the dead didn't even have enough to pray anymore because I didn't feel worthy enough to pray because I wasn't obeying God, wasn't doing what God wanted me to do. And for two years, I even left the ministry, pretty much just left it, didn't preach, didn't do nothing. Went to churches that knew, didn't know me, thinking I could hide because there's no hiding place. The gifts of God are called without repentance. So, maybe it's even speaking to some of you tonight that's thinking that you can just forget all about it, shove it under the rug, and you've already done what you wanted to do, you've already done your ministry, and you feel like it's time to retire. There is no quit in place, there is no time to retire. As long as we got breath in us, we are to serve the Lord. Now, with that said, God is speaking to me tonight. And there's someone seeing this post or hearing this tonight that's never felt worthy enough to pray or even seek out hell. Because all your life you've been told you're worthless. If I listened to everything anybody told me in my life, where would I be? I had a teacher in the fifth grade that told me that I would never get anywhere on my smile and I would never be nothing. A teacher. I saw that teacher here a while back, and I couldn't believe it she actually spoke to me and was talking to me, because neither one of us cared much for each other even years later, we don't, but then that was kind of a freeing spot for me, because, you know, I was able to show her what I had become, you know, that person that she told was never mount up to anything. I was able to tell her how I was able to overcome those obstacles and those titles that she and others put upon me. You may have been told that you're worthless or no good 
and a mistake. And you should never been born. I've never been told that, but my mom has. And all of her life she's been told. Uh, her real dad told her if she was a boy, he would have accepted her. The dad that raised her loved her, but he wasn't that good to her. But she had her mom, which was her shoulder, and they was really close. But all of her life, she's felt like she's a mistake. But there is no mistakes tonight. We're all somebody. And we're all called here to do, to do something for the Lord.